The Hibion village CEO says the first phase of the sewerage project was funded by government at a cost of $14 million and will be completed by the end of next month. The project is to connect all houses to the gravity sewer line in order to do away with the notorious bucket toilet system. We are also targeting to um, eliminate the bucket system, which is really a headache and um, a shame to be having in our village. Water articulation and electrification projects that were started early this year are also being funded by government at a combined cost of $4 million. The council is also busy constructing two roads in the residential area at a cost of $300,000 received from the roads contractor company. The CEO further uploaded contractors working on the state projects for employing some of the local youth for the duration of the projects to enable them to earn an income to assist their families financially. We have a lot of priorities in Khibion. We have a lot of challenges. So it is a daunting task to prioritize one thing at a time due to lack of funds. But eventually um, we will get there. She also revealed that plans were underway to upgrade existing sport grounds like the soccer and netball pitches and build volleyball and tennis courts. She added that the absence of proper sport facilities contributes to youth idling around and indulging in alcohol and drug abuse, which leads to unnecessary involvement in criminal activities. The council says it would also conduct a local census to establish how many people live at the village and what economic activities people at the grassroots are engaged in.